Hello my little storm clouds and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here. Today I've got a little bit of a new series starting. I've seen quite a few people do this sort of thing where you spin the wheel and it picks something and you build lots of houses on one lot. So that's what I'm going to do today. I am creating tiny castles for fairies and I just come up with some basic types of fairies here. If you have any other ideas on what you'd want me to add you can go ahead and suggest them in the comments and I will add them. Obviously today this is what I've got so I'm going to spin and see what we get today. And press Press control and then and let's see what we get we've got flower fairy I feel like this one should be an easy one just do lots of flowers around the outside of the bill and maybe loads of plants on the inside so I'm gonna remove this from my wheels and this is what we've got left remaining like I said if you want any other ones on here please let me know and I will add them so for all these tiny castles, I really want to keep each one under 64 tiles. This did end up less than the 64 tiles because I ended up removing the top circle's floor so it removes some of the floor tiles. And even though I hate working with circle rooms, I really wanted to do it for this one especially because I wanted to create that sort of shape of a flower. I can't remember what the flower's called. Is it a bluebell where they hang down it has sort of a bell shape? because I saw somebody do this trick. I'm going to have to try find them, but they use a light coming over so it looks like the bell is attached to the stem and it looked fantastic. So I will find the person's name and pop it up on screen if I remember. If not, I'll pin something in the comments. I was also so unsure on what color to go for. I was like, do we go for a green? Like it's the stem of a flower. And I ended up deciding to go with the castle brick from the castle kit um, because I wanted to use the brick that had the flowers peeking through and I really liked the look of it in the end. And then for the roof on this portion, I did end up putting some grass and the grass does have some flowers in it in the end. I, the first one I put on didn't have flowers, but then I found one that had flowers on it and I was like, I really, really love that. I also do end up moving this to the back of the lot because I was trying to detail the front garden and it was too close to the front of the lot. So I've moved it to the back. I don't know where everything's going to be placed when I do all of the other fairy builds, but we'll get to that when it comes to it. So this room on the side is pretty small. This was going to be the bathroom and the ram room was going to be the bedroom. But because I was having so much trouble later on, I do end up making this room on the side bigger. But like I said, I removed some floor tiles out of that secondary um, round room so I end up with less tiles than the 64. I wanted something quite elegant for this fairy I don't know why when I think of a flower fairy I just think of something really elegant so I went with some of the doors from Get Famous and they have a pink option which is really really great so here's me trying to figure out how to do this I ended up using this one here and I thought it looked really really cool also, just off topic a little bit, I am still working on my Akatar series. I know I've only really done one build of it. I did Tamlin's Mansion or Tamlin's Estate. I will be doing other ones. I'm working on Risan's um, Townhouse currently just because it's one of the easier ones. But I am reading the third book. I'm almost finished with it. And I'm trying to get everything as accurate as I possibly can by reading it so I'm taking notes every time anything is mentioned like if something is mentioned like the clock on the mantelpiece that sort of thing so it's taken a little bit longer than I expected but it will be coming and so will the other builds as well I'm not gonna lie I am slightly avoiding the larger builds like the moon palace and the house of wind Anyway, let's get back to this build. Luckily enough, the Get Famous windows have this really skinny one which work really well on the round rooms because windows are a nightmare on round rooms. What really annoys me, if you can see here, the seam on the wallpaper is so annoying and there's nothing you can really do about that. What? But why? They need to fix something with that because it really looks bad and you can't put a window over this because that's the point where you can't put windows. So the reason I am doing all these fairy type build is because I really want fairies in the game. Like give me fairies, I need them so bad. I doubt we're going to get them anytime soon because I'm pretty sure there's only, is it only kits that are left in the first quarter of the roadmap? Whereas I think if you're going to bring fairies into the game it does need to at least be a game pack like the other occults. But I really want fairies and if they want somebody to build something for the, anything for fairies I, I'm here, I will build anything for fairies. I will be sad because yeah, I know you can't use bb.move objects on when doing builds for the EA stuff, but I just really enjoy 
building fantasy and fairy tales type things especially at the moment with me reading those sort of books that is my favorite style of books is like fantasy I really love enemies to lovers all that sort of thing and that's why Akatar is so great and I can't wait to read Sarah J Mass's other books yeah the main thing obviously with this build since it is a flower fairy was just add so many flowers I stuck with a pink color palette and added subtle pops of white I think I ended up going for like on the side of the build just there I ended up getting rid of these and I add a fence around the edge of the build as well I wanted each build to be sort of separated by something I have a feeling I'm gonna have to move this to a larger lot because I feel like I'm only gonna fit four maybe five builds on this and I'd love to do like a central section where they all come together and maybe have a fountain in the middle but I'm not sure on that but yet because this is only my first build in this series even though just placing loads of flowers down is quite fun because just randomly placing them and sizing them up and sizing them down can give a really cool effect I still think I'm most excited for the Night Fairy. I love anything to do with space, moons, stars. I even have a few tattoos that are moons and stars. No, I don't have any stars. I've got Saturn. I do want some stars though. Like I've already got an idea in my mind of sort of what I want to do for a Night Fairy. And like I said at the start of the video, if you can think of other fairy types, um, let me know because I will add them to my wheel um because i do want to do more than the like did i have five or six on there might have had a little bit more but i would like to add more and have this series be a little bit longer i'm not gonna lie i really struggled with the inside of this build i think tiny builds are difficult in a way anyway but trying to do a build on the inside that is to do with like flowers so you're bringing the outside inside is a little bit difficult so I struggled a little bit. I think it's going to be easier for some of the other builds because like I said, I've already got like ideas in mind. I just brought a lot of the plants that are on the walls on the outside to the inside to make it give it that flowery feel. But I was really trying to avoid like any technology sort of thing since this is fairies, you think fantasy, you're not going to have like TVs and computers. So I avoided that sort of thing. I didn't even want to put set and lights and that in because I wanted them to more look like candles or fair lights. But for this one I went a little bit on the country style so I used the country kitchen in the kitchen and in the bathroom a little bit. I added a pink toilet, I don't know if I like this, I might change it. I don't know why something looks off about it, I think I just need to go for more of a country style toilet that's more plain. Again though I wanted to keep it pink and that's mainly why I used the country kitchen one, not just because it sort of fit the vibe but because there was a pink option which I really really liked. Cottage living also worked really well. I added this green oven because I thought the green of like the grass sort of fit well and I didn't want the silver top and this one had more of a goldy copper top which I thought suited the style a little bit more. But at this point my screen recorder did stop after this clip and it missed me doing most of the bedroom as well as the living room but there's not really much in there since it's only a small area so you didn't miss much at all. I made my daisy table, I have a tutorial on how to do it so you use another table to make a flower shape. Um, like I said I have a, a shot on that. And because I moved the terrain a little bit I did have to use tool mod to sort of adjust things just to get them slightly right because terrain and moving objects is an absolute nightmare things just flow and it's so annoying there is ways around it without using tool mod you can put stuff in the basement and raise it through the floor that is my other little trick if you don't have tool mod i'm just adding final details in the garden i added stuff like fireflies because they're like my favorite thing to add they add so much ambience and some other flowers as always I always add a few more details off camera because I'm searching through the catalogue for those last details but that is pretty much it if you enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up and if you haven't already please subscribe and I will see you in my next video bye